Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to beat players rated around 1000 on chess.com with little to no calculation. Basically, it just involves taking the free pieces when they're offered to you and being able to execute checkmate with two or more queens. So if you're stuck around the 1000 rating level and you don't think you can improve, don't despair, keep playing. It doesn't take that much. You'll get there. You'll be rated 1500 before you know it or higher. Let's get a five minute blitz game going here. Okay, we're paired up with who? Mile 213, what's he rated? 918, that's perfect. A little under, little under 1000. Okay, so I'm playing the Sicilian defense. These moves are all memorized, no calculation required. It's good to memorize some opening moves. I'm attacking the E-pawn, one move threat. See if he defends it. Okay, he knows a little something. All right, this is a memorized move, A6, it's the Nidorf and he's pushing the pawn. That appears to just be, okay, a free pawn. Is this some trap I'm not aware of? No. Now he's going after the pawn. I'm gonna take his queen, okay? And then my pawn's under attack, okay? Well, we could defend it with the knight. We could push it. I don't know. Let's push it. It's defended by this knight here on f6, kicking his knight around. All right, he's targeting this sensitive f7 square, so. Kick his knight again, one move threat. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go here to, yeah. And we're going to take out your knight because that's gonna damage your pawn structure. Take it out with the bishop. Okay, that's pretty easy to see, right? You capture, he recaptures. All right, we have an extra pawn. He has a shattered pawn structure. What do we wanna do now? We want to, I don't know, play e5, take more control of the center. He's gonna be targeting that pawn. Um, so, I don't know. I'm trying not to calculate too much, uh, but you know, what, what I wanna do is try to defend that pawn. We could push the pawn, I don't know, but we're not, we're not gonna calculate. We're just gonna move the bishop to, you know, an aggressive square like that, and then we'll let him do his thing. We'll let him win the pawn, I don't even care. We're not good enough to, to figure out how to save that pawn. Actually, we could push it here. No, you can't push it because the bishop, yeah. I don't know, just whatever, castle. I guess. All right, we got his pawn back. Um, capture, why not? Now, we're gonna push a pawn, attack the bishop. He's even, see, we're not even good enough to see that he's gonna take that pawn. All right, so the rook's under attack, we'll just go like that. Now he's up in material, but we don't even care. Move the king. Our development's better, so that pawn's not anything to really worry about. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, take the bishop, why not? Okay, now the development's better here, so. We want to attack something. We'll attack the bishop, do what he does with it. Okay, he's gonna defend. Now, I don't know, what do we do here? Push a pawn, why not? Try to get active, okay. Take with the rook, mm, let's go like this, okay. Check, beginner sees check, beginner delivers check. Now, the knight can be developed. We know we need to develop our pieces. Oh, okay, all right, let's take the rook out, why not? And then. Oh, let's see, what do we do? Attack the bishop, you know, it's defended, but see what he does. Okay, just support our pawn, looks good. Now we don't have to babysit with the rook, all right. Um, I could attack this pawn here uh, with the rook and the knight, I don't know. Maybe I'll just move the knight here, try to get more central centralized. He's gonna push these pawns over here, try to make something happen, but he's gonna mess it up because he's only rated like 900. Okay, so this is pretty simple. You pin the bishop to the king. I mean, right, the bishop's not defended, you pin it to the king. It doesn't require much calculation. See, and, I, and I'm, not even, I'm not even playing good chess here, you know, purposely. All right, so, I mean, you, know, you can take the pawn because the bishop's pinned to the king, but, you know, taking the bishop with check is pretty, pretty obvious. He's got to do something about the check and then you just pick up the pawn, right? I mean, I guess that's a, a two-move calculation. I don't know. But when you're taking a piece with check, it's pretty pretty easy to see that, that you're gonna have a free move after that. He's trying to infiltrate with his rook. Don't want it to happen. I can block, defended by my knight. That's not a calculation, really. I mean, you could say that's a calculation because rook takes rook, knight takes rook, but you really just think of it as your rook's defended and you're trying to keep him from coming in. Oh, and that's a, just a free rook. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. I don't know how he could not see that his rook's under attack. I mean, it's like the easiest thing to see in the world. So I, I really don't know. Maybe he's just saying, I'm gonna sack my rook and then try to come in here and 
He's like, if I think hard enough, I'll find a way out of this. Push your pawn. Try to get a pass pawn. That's what you gotta do. Come on. I don't know why they do this. I think they think I'm gonna get bored and I'm gonna just like watch TV or something while I'm waiting for him to move and then he's gonna move and I'm gonna miss the fact that he moved and I'm gonna run out of time. I think that's what their strategy is at this point. It's probably the best strategy he has. Try to trick me somehow into not paying attention to the game since I only have 16 seconds left. No, he's just gonna run out of time. He just left the game. He's disgusted. He's disgusted that he gave up a rook. I, I guess it was on accident. I don't know. Okay, this guy's rated 1200. A little higher than I want, but should still be pretty easy. Okay, Scandinavian defense. Let's take the pawn. And, you know, you attack the queen. Push your pawn to d4. You play knight f3. Um, I don't know. Pin the knight. Why not? If you see a piece and you can pin it, then just pin it. Oh, okay, so this is easy to spot. You can just take the knight and you've destroyed his pawn structure. Okay, a two move calculation. Look at that horrible pawn structure. Now, you just trade off all the pieces and well, maybe not all the pieces, but. Uh, what do you wanna do here? I don't want him doing anything to my pawn structure. I, even though bishop takes and pawn takes, it's not bad for me, but I want a perfect pawn structure. So I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna kick his bishop around. Oh, and you're just gonna voluntarily give up the bishop pair? Or, yeah, yeah, he had the bishop pair. Um, what now? Put a rook to a half open file, right? The principal thing to do, don't have to calculate, you just do it. And now we take a pawn with check, right? It's undefended. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. They just don't even seem to even look at your moves. And now I'll go here, I'll double up on the open file there, and uh, I don't know, let's just bring another rook to the open file. I'm not going to try to do anything fancy here. And look at this horrible bishop back here. He's going to want to try to play this at some point. We could keep attacking the, the knight. It's going to have to move somewhere. He'll move it and then, I don't know, probably calculating too much here. Just go here. He'll have to move the knight. And then, do we want to take? I guess we just go here. What? <laughs> okay, check. There goes a piece. Do we take with the queen or the bishop? I don't know. Take with the queen. It's going to be over soon. And then what do we do? Just check him. I'll just check him. Why not? Okay, he's threatening to capture my knight. Just defend the knight. And then, you know, queen takes g7, check. You could check like this. Just start delivering checks once his king is driven towards the center. The checkmate will just fall into your lap. So, what about this? We're not going to even worry about which move is the quickest checkmate. We're just going to go here, see what he does with his king. Right there, check, check, defended by the knight. Not hard to see, and it's checkmate. Easy peasy. Okay, let's go. Okay, who am I playing? This guy's rated 963. That's perfect. We're going to play against the Sicilian defense without calculating much at all. This is a memorized move. He takes with the knight. Interesting. You got your queen in the center. But he can't attack it with the knight anymore, so it's all good. And we're just going to play without thinking. Going to castle on the queen side. Queen's under attack. Not too hard to see that we need to move her. Um, okay, queen to d2. I don't think this is good at all. And see, this is what I'm talking about with these beginners. They just drop pawns for no reason. You don't play g6 when you played e5 in the Sicilian because you want the bishop to develop to e7 so you can keep defending your d6 pawn. But here, of course, he's um, forgetting that. And that pawn's just free for the taking. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, one a pawn. This bishop's blocked in by his own pawn. It's another reason why you don't play the bishop to g7 when you have a pawn on e5 most of the time in the Sicilian. And now I'll just develop without thinking too much. See what he does. Just put the bishop on the most aggressive square and wait for him to do something stupid. Okay. All right, we'll just double the rooks on the open file. We're threatening to win two minor pieces for a rook. Okay. And now, um, I don't know. Is, is this too good? Does this Is this cheating if I play bishop to g5? and try to just eliminate one of the defenders of this bishop here. I mean, that's not hard, too hard to see. Now, if I want to be really tricky, or, you know, really tricky for a player rated around 1,000, I'd go here and attack the bishop since this bishop is pinned. You know, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose a rook. But let's just do this. I'm trying to play like I'm not very good. And we're just gonna eliminate a defender of the bishop here. Pretty simple stuff. 
you know, just it's just a matter of counting. I have two pieces attacking the bishop on d7. He's got two defenders. He's fine, but if I can eliminate one of the defenders, you know. And he's already finished here, I think. I mean, I don't really know what you do. Can't move the bishop. Okay, so he's going to lose a whole rook now. I guess his what he's thinking here is that I'm going to take his rook on d8, and then he's going to take my rook. But even that loses a piece. But maybe he's forgetting that this comes with check. Yeah, check, and then you're going to have to throw your bishop in the way, which means this knight here is no longer defended. There you go. So he's finished. I'm two pieces up, and he can he can go ahead and resign. Yeah. So let's go again. Okay, I'm white this time. He's rated 1,051. That's perfect. And he's been inspired by Magnus Carlsen to play some weird, some weird. I'm just gonna um, put my pieces toward the center. I'll even let you kick my knight around. I don't care. Play b4. Okay, so you know, obviously he wants to push his pawn and then take the the pawn here. You know what? I should even just let him have that pawn. I'm not good enough to calculate far enough to see this pawn needs to be defended. But you know what? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Let's have some fun. Play your b4 and then, alright, you're excited. You're winning a pawn here. Doesn't even matter. You can make mistakes like this. You'll still win. Just develop my queen. Maybe a castle queen side. I don't know. Okay. Attacking my knight. It's pretty easy to see that you can defend it or you can move it. I'm just going to move it. Okay. Wants to give up the bishop pair. That's, that's cool. And so I'm going to castle king side since he's pushing all these pawns over here. That's pretty easy to learn. You know, you don't castle your king towards a pawn storm. And now what do we do? Let's just double rooks on a half open file. Why not? He might jump in here with his knight, attack my queen. Okay. Just go here. A little pressure on the knight. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the pawn on passant. Why not? And then we notice that, what's he going to do here? Um... Okay, take with the queen, and then what do we do? Well, we can move the queen somewhere, and now his queen's under attack. Where do we move the queen? I don't know. Let's move the queen here. Attacking a piece, attacking a piece. What do you got? Maybe he'll put the bishop here on d5. I don't know. He's probably not smart enough to do that. Oh, he is smart enough to do that. Okay. But uh, let's see. I'll move the queen here. Attacking. Just, just attack pieces. That's all you do. Just attack some pieces. Okay, there we go. And I don't even know, maybe it's maybe it's dangerous, but I don't care. Even if it is, he's not good enough to figure out how to exploit my mistake. Okay, now what are we gonna do here? He is threatening to trap my queen. And I don't know if it's fair for me to realize that and try to get out of danger. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too strong by doing that. He's gonna bring a rook here, and then I'm gonna have an issue, right? So what should I do? Should I realize that that's a problem? Yeah. If I lose my queen, I'm not going to be able to show you guys how to beat this guy. But that's that's not hard. I mean, that's, what, two moves? This, and then looking at everywhere this queen can go and realizing that she can't get away? A two-move calculation? Maybe it's allowed. I don't know. Let's go to g4. A little pressure on the knight. Bring your rook in. Go ahead. Oh, you're going to do that. Queen's attacked. All right, I'll go here with check. Get out of danger with check. Can't be too bad, right? Okay. What's next? Let's just do something like this. I'm not going to think too much. Move a rook to a half open file. Okay, he's attacking knight. You want to trade knights? That's cool. I'm going to do it without even thinking about it. You see a piece you can take? Take the piece. Why not? Now what? I can attack the queen. Why not? Again, I'm not going to think too hard. Okay. What's next? Um, well, this bishop's pinned to the king. That's something to think about. Um, we'll just attack a piece that's pinned to the king. Not sure if it's good. Maybe he'll play c6. Okay, good job, buddy. Good job. Um, let's attack another piece. Just keep attacking pieces till he messes something up. Okay. Now we see that the knight is attacked by my queen, but it's defended by his queen. Can we remove the defender somehow? Let's see. Let's try. Pretty simple. Pretty simple to see. Just attack the defender of, an, of a piece. It's only really a one-move calculation. I didn't even look to see where this queen could go, but I don't think she has anywhere to go. I don't think there's anywhere she can go to defend this knight, but now that I look at it, I don't think this queen even has anywhere to go. Period. He's trapped. So, you know, you'll you'll win pieces. You'll win the queen without even realizing it sometimes, playing these guys. Just attack. Attack, 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 attack. And you'll win. Just play aggressive. And why he's in this situation and I'm not, you know, I didn't even really calculate. I don't know. Okay, so he's just going to give up the queen like that, 
And now it's just over. The knight's attacked. Will he see it? I don't know. Yeah, he saw it. And okay, what can we do now? Well, there's a free pawn. Check. And he could resign right now. But who knows? Sometimes you're going to have to play on with these guys. Let's attack a piece that's pinned like that. We just want to trade pieces. We're ahead material. Let's trade pieces. Okay, takes. I'm, I'm going to have to play kind of quickly now. And um, I don't know. Let's put you in check. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe he'll push the pawn. I would love that. I would love it if he, if he, but you know. And let's just do this. Have to play a little more quickly now. Okay, he's attacking the queen. We just drop her back. I'm gonna take out this pawn next. Try to open up. See, I'm trying to open up another file towards this king right here. Put a rook on c1. Just take you. There we go. We have an open file. 13 seconds left. I better hurry. Oh, how am I missing this? Check. Yeah, you're finished. And then this is gonna be curtains. Oh, we can throw the knight in the way. So yeah, that's that's it. All right, there you go. Okay, maybe one more game. All right, what's okay? 1166. Playing a queen's pawn opening here. I'm just setting up a structure that I have kind of memorized. This e6, c6, and d5 structure here. That's what I like to to go for. Not thinking. Let's let's kick the bishop back. Okay, he's gonna give up the bishop pair right off the bat. That's fine. And I'll even go ahead and castle over here. Why well, is this good to wait for him to castle? In case he wants to go for a queenside castling in some kind of ridiculous pawn storm. But okay, so here we can. See, we need to develop this bishop. So, you know, it's probably good to play a move like this. But I'm going to do something like this instead because I'm not good enough to figure out that it's good to play a pawn to e5. And he's going to do that. Hmm. I'll just take whatever. He's actually playing pretty well here. And I want to open up my bishop, so I'm just going to play that. Pretty obvious thing to do. You know, you want to open diagonal for your bishop. He's going to kick my bishop back. You could play here or here. Just play here. Now we have a check we can deliver at some point. If it's useful, I mean, threatening to win a pawn, I guess. Put that check, but I, I'm not good enough to see that. See, I could go check and then win this pawn, but I'm not good enough to do that. Maybe I'll just... Well, I mean, I guess I'd have to take the bishop. Oh, yeah, you'd have to go check, then you take the bishop, then you win the pawn. But that's too much calculation, so I'll just go here. Okay. And then, what do I do? Just take a pawn, why not? Okay, the bishop's hit. You know what? The bishop's protected, and I have a free free pawn right here. So there we go. We'll just win by picking up free pawns. And then you, you'll move your queen. If you move your queen to f2, that would be very nice. So what's he trying to do here? I don't know. I don't know what's the best move here, so I'll just deliver a check while protecting my pawn some more. And then, what do we want to do now? Put a rook to a half open file. We can go after this pawn here. That's interesting. All right. All right, I'll just take the pawn out. He'll take with the knight, probably. And then, I don't know. Um, I don't know. This bishop is lacking protection. Maybe I'll just go here. Oh, pinning the bishop, that's cool. But that's not really a problem because I can defend it like this. And then I can just move my queen. It's all good. Okay, see, that doesn't really do anything since the knight is defending. So I'm just gonna get my queen out of the way. He's gonna probably play b3 and try to remove the defender. But you know what? I do have this, so I don't know. So you can just play in a sloppy manner, and you're still going to win. So what's the best thing to do here? Just, like, you could take the knight, you could, you could go here. Let's just play like this. We have an alarm going off in the other room. And I'm about to just defend the knight. He'll probably put... Yeah, he'll do that. Now he's threatening to do something here. I'll just go here. I mean, it, all I had to see was that that knight was pinned. Because he had two pieces lined up. On my queen on c7 so we just break the pin and then what do we do here just move a rook to an open file not going to think too much wait for him to make a mistake let him come to you okay he's attacking a pawn with two pieces a pawn and a queen so we just add defense pretty simple and you just wait okay takes takes that's fine just wait bide our time and what's he gonna do five pawns versus three come on my time's getting low again ah what's the purpose of this I don't even know. Let's just move the queen to a sort of a central square, maybe? Yeah, she could get attacked by a rook. Maybe I'll just work on doubling the rook somehow. See, he doesn't really know what to do here. So what do we do here? Just go like this. Try to come in here to d1 with check. Okay, check. He'll take the rook. They always capture. 
Yeah, they always capture it. Now that's check. Just keep checking until something falls into your lap. Right? Okay. Now he's got some weaknesses. Let's, you know, target the knight on f3 here. Not going to think about this too much. Okay. Interesting. And I'm running out of time, so let's just kind of centralize the queen here. Okay. Not really sure what that does, but let's just go here. Back that knight some more. Try to make something happen over here. I know I had much better moves, but he's going to maybe put me in check. They always like to deliver checks when they can. Yeah, he'll do that, but it doesn't really do anything. You have to address your knight on f3, which is under attack here. I wasn't even looking for... Okay, so he, he does this. I thought he was going to take with the, the knight and I was going to checkmate him, but this is fine. I mean, yeah, he just runs out of time, see? So basically what was going to happen is he was going to take and then I was going to take with check and I was going to pick up another pawn. And then as long as he doesn't get some kind of an endless check over here by, you know, eliminating these pawns and checking me here and going back and forth on the light squares, I'll be okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Maybe it wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be because it's just kind of boring beating these guys, but maybe it's a little inspiring for you guys if you're stuck around the 1000 rating level to see just how easy it can be to beat these guys.